Hey there folks, my name is Wolf Hunter, and uh, I'm just here to guide you through installing Dark Souls and getting into, into working order. Uh, here we have Dark Souls. Um, so a lot of people will be able to run this without any sort of mods. Uh, the problem with that is that they're not getting the, the most out of the experience, and they're also missing out, and also completely unsafe. We'll get into that in a second here. So to find it, finding the guide, or finding guides, uh, you just go to uh, a library, you select the game, Dark Souls, and then you go to, uh, we'll just go to Community Hub. And from here, navigate to the guides tab. Mine's actually, this is actually where we're going right here. But anyway, so this right here is multiple windows of the same thing. Let's let's do it normally here. Uh here we go. So I'm gonna include you know this video link in the guide itself when uh when this video is out. Um but for now let's just take a look at it. Uh it's got four out of five stars. It's fine. I have a lot of haters which just means I you know people that don't like me. Um, let's see. We'll just skip everything, you know, read it on your own. You can pause right here. But we're gonna, we're gonna move up to step one. You disable the in-game AA so the game, first of all, works, and second of all, uh, doesn't crash after it fools you into thinking it does work. Uh, ideally, this would be off, and this would be a fresh install here on this uh, video. I didn't really do this well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, what you're going to see is basically the game starts, ideally, you know, like so. Connect your controller. Mine is a 360 uh, wireless controller with wireless dongle attached. Um, works well. Auto maps without any Steam support if you, uh, you know, install the driver for the receiver correctly. Go to PC settings first, take a look at what you got. I already set this to what I want, and uh, this is 32-bit is the highest it goes. You're going to find anti-aliasing right here. It'll be on, um, so you just turn it off, and then uh, put out Dark Souls. All right, step two, get DS Fix 2.4. This is a mod uh, that basically uh, reports the graphics uh, interface, kind of, you, you'll see. Go to this Dropbox account here. Download this. Um, look at all these files. Take all of this, extract to wherever the game data folder is installed. So typically where Steam is installed, that drive, go to program 86 here, click Steam, scroll to Steam Apps, Common, Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. Click the data folder here, so it says data, and uh, hit OK. I already have stuff there, so I'll just replace everything that's in there. Bam, boom. DS Fix is installed. This doesn't mean that now the game runs 60 FPS 4K. It means now you can edit the graphics settings. Uh, what you're going to want to do is find that folder again through the very tedious clicking. Oh, isn't it so bad? And this DS Fix folder here, that's just additional cache data stuff. So just kind of ignore it. You can find the configuration settings DS Fix, otherwise known as DS Fix.ini. Um, here we have a bunch of settings. You can leave it at default, but some of the more important ones are. Uh, well, first of all, everything is kind of default to off. 
So if you want better graphics, you gotta come in here anyway. Uh, I'm gonna leave everything default except for this, which is unlocking the frame rate, getting it to 60. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. There might be bugs associated with it that people will warn you about. Uh, the bugs include and are not limited to like roll distance being botched when you're rolling off of a ledge. And uh, <clears throat> basically sliding through the world when you slide down ladders. So hit Control S to save this file after you're done editing. Uh, and there you go. Well, keep this data folder open because I think we're going to need to get in there again. Morton242 made a interface for DS Fix so that you can manually edit the, uh, the AA setting that we were talking about that was in the game. We, you can edit that from outside the game through DS Fix, which is nice because the two are not the same. Then step three here, we got the anti-cheater, which, um, you know, if, if you like the idea of playing online, you know, even if you don't want to play online intentionally, and you just don't want to take the steps to turn off online, like, as in go offline, uh, this is super essential. This protects you from cheating effects, and uh, displays your nodes. Nodes are some sort of solution to connection possibilities slash matchmaking. Um... Get this, get this tool no matter what. You find the DSPW, you click it, and yeah, that's all there really is to it. Open this bad boy up. Same thing with with this uh, as DS Fix. As you find the friggin' data folder. Wham! Oh no. Make sure this data, not the other ones. Yes, because it's already done. Whatever. And that's that. It's installed. <clears throat> There's other things you can do with it. Not very many. It has an INI file, but that, that's all you'll likely ever need to do with it. Step four here um, is opting into playing online and being like getting a reliable connections because steam somehow broke it uh i was there when they broke it and they broke it for like a month so in that month this mod was created by wolf who also inspired my steam name a little bit because you know i was at first this was like oh yeah we're gonna we're gonna enable co-op screw pvp Ugh. and i was like what no s screw you i want I want to invade people and, and uh, you know, use this for nefarious purposes as well as good. So, you know, over time, they, you know, the Wolf Incorporated, um, a lot of things. Basically, it, it's, it fixes connectivity. Click the latest stable release. I don't know about the testing release, but, you know, stable release. And, oh, it's just one file. One file that you can pleasantly put on your desktop, which, uh, ooh, here it is. I already got it. When you run it, it looks like this. It says, oh, you can update to the testing if you want. Eh, whatever. We'll do that. And just like that, I'm in the testing version. There's so many people playing. Look at this. Yeah, and you can sort. Yeah. You have favorites. Um, and stuff. Anyway, it's really good. You keep that running in the background, and uh, you'll get connections. So we have these uh, mouse fix mods, optional. Um, the Dark Souls input customizer and the predecessor to that, um, made by this guy right here, Method Hydrat. Those fix mouse... Uh, camera issues, well, this one doesn't, this one's more time-tested, blah, 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 well, you know, it's all up to you. Uh, I would prefer if people got this one so that we could streamline it. Uh, all Everything here pretty much requires network, framework, 
4.6, so don't be afraid to install that from Microsoft's website. Um, okay, what else we got going? So if you want to use a controller for this, there are a couple, there are many options really, and getting them to work is somewhat of a hassle. Um, but for the most part, they all have some solution, which if I remember to link the guide somewhere in an annotation, that you can just check real quick at any point um, for yourself. But this is just super rough guidelines, like kind of sort of proven facts that, you know, use your eyes and take it in kind of thing. Uh, crashing on start. This is, you know, a lot of people will complain about crashing on start. And that's because this game is ported poorly. So here's a list of stuff. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a video of me just telling you to look at things. And the bottom line is that not every solution is here. Um, Particularly, some of these are just kind of yeah, do it anyway. Um, some of it's like people don't think, like, oh, this overlay might be causing it. Well, no shit. Uh, just take take note of them all, and try to do your best to yeah follow along with it. I guess. So I did in this part as like a. You know, why only have a little bit <laughs> of information versus a lot? It was totally a stretch to call it a fix for good not getting. Um, but just, you know, within our, our tips on how to get over the whole, you know, the lack of balance in PvP, basically put it into perspective. And there's a conclusion, it was a meme. Whatever, you know. Uh, credit here, forum post, comments. So you're you're probably all set to go now. Um, probably didn't need this entire video. It's kind of rambly. But hopefully... I mean, let's run the game. Yeah, I'll just show you <laughs> where we're at now. And, uh... Yeah, it's the first, first video I've tried to make ever. It's pretty jank. It's actually really jank. <laughs> I don't even have editing software, really. I'm just kind of... kind of winging it. Start a new game. Turn this off. Camera auto wall recovery. Not good. Pretty shitty. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, whatever. Uh. And it runs. In the A. All right, guys. Um, spoilers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, you're gonna wanna enjoy those. So in the meantime, uh, hope you liked it. Yep, jank, jank video. Here's the uh, here's the non-editing. Yep. Love you guys.